here we will discuss about how to overcome fear but before that we will have to understand what is fear and how it affects our life fear is an emotion which acts like a panic button in our brain it alerts us of upcoming danger we can take prompt action and we can prevent ourselves from being hurt so it's a essential part of our life and it is a surviving tool which helps us to survive in this world if the children don't get fear from fire or from height or other dangers it may be fatal to them but sometimes we fear irrationally without logic and without right proportion sometimes we become fearful about cockroaches about altitude about darkness about closed room but we know that they can do little effect on us the most detrimental or severe fear is the fear of being a failure for this fear we don't endure a new thing in our life there is a proverb that most of us go to our graves with our music still inside us unplayed so if we could start a new business a new relation we could have enjoyed the life we could have achieved the new height but it is just the fear of failure that prevented us from striving something new suppose you are going to face an interview and a multinational company of IT sector your scores are not well you don't have any experience your appearance is not very much excellent just an average so there is a fear in your heart that thousands of boys are going to face the interview and there is a high probability that you will not get the job and the interviewers are the most experienced so you cannot answer them or cannot satisfy them with your limited knowledge so you are very much fearful that you won't get the job and when you face the interview you are very much nervous you cannot reply those answers what do you actually know so is there any science behind it yes there is a science too much fear can stop your brain performing in right direction or in right ways you may not be able to reply your known answers so what to do what is next failure is there in this situation failure is unavoidable result unavoidable consequence so what is next is there any solution now before facing the interview think what could be the negative impacts you will not get the job your situation will be worse and it will be tough for you to face your friends and your family will no longer support you economically so whatever the negative impacts may be just think all of them now accept that failures may be unavoidable so what next there is nothing to think of your failure you have already acknowledged or accepted the consequences now think about your positive qualities the interviewers may be very much experienced but they may be searching some unconventional ideas some fresh minds who can think from different angle they are experienced but they are experienced of past events and things and the situations are always changing the condition the situations have altered so 
they cannot be all expert with this changing scenario they may be searching for new guys who can understand the demands of young generation or the changing equations in the market so there is the scope where you can put yourself your ideas are not proved yet but your ideas are not yet tested also so it may bring some positive changes so believe in yourself and you already know what could be the worst situation for you so there is nothing to fear just you explore yourself and you just try to make them realize how indomitable you are and how willing you are to cooperate with others and to learn new things and how much you can contribute to the progress of that company so with your average appearance average marks you can make them realize that your indomitable spirit and your attitude to learn new things cooperate with others will contribute a lot in their company and there is a fair chance that you will be selected so if you try if you just stop thinking of being failure and what could be the negative impacts after being failure you can think of the positive sides your hard working attitude and your unique strength you can explore you need not to win the world but you can be worthy enough to be someone's world everyone suggests that you can conquer the world but i think you need not to conquer the world you can be the world for someone or for some people and live a happy life with content heart that is the ultimate purpose of human being suppose you want to be a fluent english speaker but you have limited knowledge in english grammar and limited stock of words you know you cannot speak like him or her fluently so you are very fearful of being embarrassed and ashamed in front of others if you try to speak in english so if you surrender to your fear then you will never try but if you accept this fear and if you accept that yes you are not a good speaker but it is quite natural because english is not your native language your mother tongue so it is quite natural to do some mistakes and there is nothing to embarrass then what then you can start you can start speaking in front of others confidently using some simple words and using some simple grammatical rules day by day you can learn new words new rules and use them in your daily conversation if you learn one or two words daily even then end of the year you will learn a thousand new words and you need only 3000 words to speak or to convey your messages so if you just start today even then within a couple of months you feel comfortable about the language to win over the fear you need strategies some people jump into action without any strategy they may win they may lose but it is not the 
qualities of fearless people it is just gambling to win the fear you have to accept it and make some strategies how to overcome it you may not be 100% sure of your strategies but there are some logics through which you can overcome it suppose you are going to take an examination and the next month but your preparation is not very good so you can study the question papers of previous years previous 10 years then you can compare the question pattern that uh, what is the number distribution 1 to 10 numbers or what are the alternative paragraphs or alternative lessons from where the questions are asked then you can prepare a strategy that you will choose five lessons out of 10 and from there you will read or memorize two broad questions from each lessons and for the rest of the lessons you will memorize some short type question answers thus you can face the exam successfully if you only stop thinking of failure only then you can prepare yourself to win so if we try and even if we don't get the desired result for the first time even then it is not in vain because we learn some lessons we can know where we get stuck and we can prepare for the next time sometimes we fear too much to confess our earlier mistakes in fear of breaking down our relationships or fame but if we can gather the courage to confess our mistakes then we can make ourselves free from the burden of guilt feeling even you can be more acceptable to others for your the courage of confessing your guilt sometimes we tolerate mental or physical torture or humiliation in fear of breaking down the relationship but unknowingly we are causing more damage to the relation if you just tolerate then the offenders take it for granted and day by day they increase the humiliation or torture and you come to the brink of breaking down the relationship so if you gather the courage and protest then you can save the relation so if you give up to fear you may not be defeated but you will never be the winner but if you don't surrender yourself to the fear then you may get all those things what you actually deserve so it is always better to try than to giving up to fear if you think this video is helpful then please do share with your friends and please subscribe my channel so that i can upload more and more videos for you and please put your valuable comments below thanks my name is devabrata rai to get instant notification you can also press the bell icon